Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel. And yet again, I am bringing you a very, what I feel is underrated and undervalued and unheard of mod, which currently only has 731 downloads. Now, this mod adds in dimensions, new wars, armors, mobs, the lot of it. And it is phenomenal. But before we get into information about this mod and running you through how this mod works, guys, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then slap that like button to really show support for the channel and help me out. It, I mean, it means a lot to me. Um, so this mod is the Dungeons and Dragons mod. Now, I don't know how long I've actually been searching for a proper Dungeons and Dragons mod. Now there are like adaptations out there, don't get me wrong, um, but this one is phenomenal. For the early stages of its development, it is, it's fantastic. As I said, it adds in a lot and some of the things it adds in are mobs, obviously spells, weapons, dimensions and items from the worlds of Dungeons and Dragons. Now, if you know Dungeons & Dragons, it's a pretty cool game, it's a board game, uh, it's awesome, I quite enjoy it. <laughs> uh, currently there are 5 dimensions, over 30 different spells, over 300 different weapons, and more than 260 different monsters. Straight from the monsters manual for you to be able to battle and defeat. It also adds in dice into the game and tabletop roleplay. So the proper Dungeons and Dragons sort of style stuff. Here we go, here's the dice here. There isn't too much information as of the moment about this mod out there. So you have to sort of delve in and discover bits about it yourself. But I've done that for you and that's what I'm here to help you with now. Okay, so let's waste no further time and start cracking on with it. So, right here we have some of the new materials and some of the new ores. And we have some ruby, amethyst, jade, sapphire. We even have mithril down here to craft some super strong stuff. And all of these new ores and elements have their own armor and tool set as well. Which we'll take a brief look at now if we go over to here. Um... This mod, don't get me wrong guys, it isn't perfect. It, it, it really has a lot to work on. But for where it is, and for how little is known about and how little hype it has, it's fantastic. It is great. Um, so these are the armor sets currently in here now. As you can see, ruby with the ruby weapons, emeralds, topaz, heridite, amethyst, jade, onyx, um, aquarium, turquoise and a few others and here down here we have the different weapons and tools we even have spears and little axes it's awesome guys it is just so cool um it also adds in tin copper um nickel lead the lot fire it's it's there's mage armors there's platinum armors it's fantastic and here's that little myth thrill stuff I was chatting to you about earlier. We're going to pop that on. We look fantastic and now we're super strong. And yeah, guys, it is phenomenal. And you can see all the different tools here as well. Who doesn't want a war hammer? I personally do. It adds in maces. There's sickles. There's javelins. It's just got lots and lots to this. Don't get me wrong, these can be made to look better, I do think, but they've got a very standard Minecraft feel to them. So let's get out some of them just to take a quick gander to show you guys what they're like. We'll get out something different from each of the armor sets, I reckon. So we'll get out mace, uh, we'll get out a uh, sickle from that, uh, we'll get out the battle axe from there. Okay, so let's take a quick gander. As you can see, they've still got a lot to work on with them, but they do look pretty cool. They are very Minecraft feel. They're not too in your face, <laughs> like detailed, 
For me, as some of you guys know, like long-term viewers, I do prefer the more detailed sort of looking weapons. Uh, like with a bit more of a 3D effect and look more realistic, but that's just me. I know a lot of you guys really like this look and you are probably going to look at this and go, that is perfect for me. It doesn't make the world feel too outlandish and real. So that is purely going to be down to personal opinion. Now we've taken a look at some of these weapons. I'm going to personally keep the Onyx uh, Longsword and get rid of the rest of these. There are um, wands as well added. I keep getting tongue-tied because there is just so much added to this mod and I want to cover it all um, as much as I can. We can't cover everything today, of course, guys, because there is actually just so much. And you can see all the different mobs here as well. We will look at those, so don't you worry. There are different staffs as well, so we'll get a few of these out just to give a quick gander. Some of them you need to do certain things with to get them to activate. So hopefully I've picked out the right ones from the get-go. Alright, so we have the Mind Blast, which I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there we go. I've hit this guy, and it's doing its thing. Um, you do have the spells here to go on to the different staffs. Um, I'm sure there'll be a wiki guide to come out with more information on how to access all these and craft these a bit better. But as of now, guys, if you can, download a crafting manual uh, as an addition to having with this mod. I do recommend that. Staff of Restoration. So let's let's heal heal myself up if I was injured. Uh, Frostbolt. Where, where's my tester? Where you gone, bro? Okay. Frostbolt. You, you take the Frostbolt. Next up we have Thunderstorm, charging it up to shoot. Some of these ones do damage the... Oh, Staff of Luck, could always do with a bit of luck. Let's change the weather, it's really dull. We don't... We, I live in England, I, we all, I already deal with weather like this all the time. I don't need it in, in the Minecraft world as well. Alright, so let's take out some of these and let's see what other staffs we have up for offer here. Uh, Electric Bolt, that sounds pretty gosh damn awesome. Um... Don't want that. Don't really want a Healy one. I want something cool. Uh, web one's pretty cool, I must say. Staff of Sleep. Nice. Invisibility. Always useful. Uh, let's go for Explosion. I always do love an Explosion. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I don't want to explode anything too close to my base. So let's see if we can find uh, a helpless little creature. Sorry, Piggy. Damn, it does, it does a lot of damage. Uh, let's trap this guy up in a web. Yeah, nice. Nice. Does it, does it damage the pig as well when being hit by the web? I think it does, yeah. Uh, oh, no, I don't think it does, actually. Okay, now let's try the electric bolt now. The guy's stuck in there. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep those two. So, there you go, guys. That is currently uh, the ores. And then we're going to, before we jump into the dimensions, which don't worry, I'll tell you all about these and about the different dimensions. Let's change uh, the time so you can see some of the mobs that spawn in the overworld. Uh, Alright, so let's go to midnight and let's hopefully see some of these all spawning pretty much straight away. Alright, so what do we have over here? Let's take a little gander. Okay, oh. Hello, we have a... <laughs> giant bug nice these mobs aren't weak either guys like you can see this is a standard overworld mob it will attack you a carry on crawler 11 defense 50 hp nothing to be trifled with in the slightest what do we have over here some zombies some new and improved zombies where are the goblins at i want to find some goblins before we we go and vacate this dimension what do we have down here? Hello. Oh, we've got a gnoll. Nice, nice. So you can already see the amount of mobs that have been added to this mod, guys. It's it's mad. Oh, a little goat. An actual passive mob. Nice. Now, I don't want to get too lost down here and then lose where I've built the portals. Because that is definitely something I would end up doing. Uh, that's just a bit of me. I, I know what I'm like. I'm a nightmare. Uh, okay, so we've got a crawler over here. We have a goblin chief. Look at this guy Look at this guy. It just it's awesome. It's awesome. Okay. We've got some standard goblins over here. Oh, no, we've got some bugbears Nice, and we've got a crawling claw 
Um, oh, what what is hiding behind the tree over here with a skeleton? We have a hill troll. Just some mad stuff. A nice little hawk. And of course, the skeleton, which we all know and love. The classics. The classics can never do us wrong. Okay, so now we've taken a quick peek at some of these. Oh, what do we have over here? We've got some hawk peoples. Um, we've got the Arakokara. Nice. It's just, there's just so much added in in this short space of time. Some of these do spawn in during uh, the day, but most of them come out at night. So travel by day is my recommendation to you guys. Who do we have invading our area? We've got another orc chief. I love that. I, lo I love the different variations of them all as well. It, they just look fantastic. I'm sure you guys would agree. Just for such an unheard of mod, they, they look amazing. Like, normally mods that have this amount of downloads are pretty naff. And this one just is not in the slightest. It's, it's great. Um, yep, they've all come out to play. They have all come out to play. I do look forward to them getting a bit more detailed, I will say. But as, as you guys know, I like them a little bit more realistic. Just me. Just me. Alright, so the first dimension we're going to look at is called the Underdark. It is a dimension completely underground full of unique monsters that do not spawn in the overworld. Now the portal frame can be created out of coal blocks, but you need this ancient black steel key to activate it. But don't worry, you don't need to craft anything to, to build this key. It is just found in structures around the world or in chests in structures around the world. So we'll take this out, let's light this, and then let's hop into it. Okay, so here is the Underdark, a completely underground dimension. We do have some gnolls up in here immediately, and we've even got some humans. And I love your shield, bro. It's a cool little shield. Alright, so what do we have here? We have a werewolf, and I have had a night potion as well, guys, just so you can see better. You can actually see in this dimension because it's got all of these glowing mushrooms to light your path. What do we have here? A Bahir. <laughs> just awesome. The amount of mobs added in, it, it just blows my mind. And they're really cool as well. This is just an amazing adventure RPG mod. It's just got so much to do, so much to explore. All these little different creatures just all over the place. And there's biomes within these different dimensions, as you can tell. They don't have any specific designation or names as of now. I'm sure they will in the future as it gets expanded upon. But it is just fantastic as of now. Nice little skeleton dudes. We've got some drows. Oh, it's just fantastic. Just take a look around at all the different mobs and creatures. Just loitering around this place. A jackal wear. A werewolf counterpart. Nice. Uh, just so much cool stuff. Just, guys, you've got to jump into here and explore it yourself. But that's it for this dimension. Let's progress on to the next. Next up we have the Furon, a world similar to the overworld full of mushroom forests and tall mountain peaks. Like the other dimensions, some dangerous mobs are going to spawn in this one. Now, to craft this dimension, you're going to need some oak leaves, fairly easy to get, and a dimensional necklace, yet again, found in chests or in structures around the world. So, just got to go looking for them guys, and you will come across them. They're not too rare, I'd say they're about medium. Because I have given it a go and I have found within about an hour, uh, two, I think it was two of the dimensional keys. So, it just takes a bit of looking. Just takes a little bit of looking. And a Pegasus immediately love that. Yes. Okay, so let's see what else this beautiful world has to offer. We have a warg. Or, well, warg. Uh, we have some murlocs. These are just awesome. Co co some kobolds. <laughs> just some mad looking mobs. It, they're just awesome. Just so cool. Okay, so let's keep going and let's see what else we've got here. So this place is known for its mushroom forests. So that is mainly what it is with some mushroom creatures. Um, you will see popping up pretty much all over the place. So let's go visit one of these mushroom households and see what holds inside. No, this one's flooded. Probably could do with some renovating. Um, Alright, let's take a look at this one. No, no little creatures. Where are all the little creatures at? We just want to say hey. Alright, 
some crows are these? It's just some standard crows. Nice. Okay, come on, show me the deadly mobs. I think we've passed most of them over at the other location. All right, let's go over the hill. Let's see what else we can locate over here. I could definitely hear growling. I can hear a lot of growling down my mic. So there's got to be something evil lurking. What the heck? This is tall. This is cool. This is tall and cool. Just the different biomes. The, the developers of this have put in a lot of effort. Now, wouldn't this just be an amazing structure to build your home out of? It just reminds me of, oh, it's got its own biome inside. That is amazing. Just just build like a giant walls around this. Have your home in the middle. Just reminds me of like something out of Lord of the Rings as well. Um, I know it's obviously Dungeons and Dragons, but it does give me that vibe because I just went back and rewatched all of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings as a side note there for you. But yes, look at all these amazing mobs. I mean, you've got to clear them out of here first before you move in. But they, I'm sure you can do that. Oh, a cockatrice. Don't want to mess with one of those bad boys. What else do we have here? Nice, nice, nice. Loads and loads of different goblin type species as well scattered around the area. Oh, is that a hill troll? Or is that just an ogre? Just a general ogre? And what are you? A gibbering mouther. Don't want to mess with one of those bad boys. Okay, so we've taken a look at this dimension. On to the next. Next up we have Shadowfell. Now this is a world of darkness and shadow full of the undead. The portal requires onyx blocks, which is one of the new ores found in this mod. And it is crafted, obviously, just standard like that. And, uh, yeah, what you're going to need is you're going to need a totem of shadow. On the mod, it, I think it says, or on the Curse Forge website, I think it says a totem of... No, it still says totem of shadow. They updated it. Okay, cool. So, just like that, hop on through and let's see what mobs await us on this side. And I'm sorry if you hear barking, my dogs for some reason are not loving life right now. For whatever reason downstairs, I think someone's just posted something. Okay, so let's let's see if we can even work our way out of here. Uh, let's, let's, we're going to do it the cheating way because, you know, mod showcase and everything. So let's get to the top. If we can even find the top of this place, which I really hope so. This is, gr this is good. This is a great start. Wow, how deep does this thing go? Are we, are we even... Are we even near the top? This is mad. There we go. We are at the top and greeted by, oh my goodness, hordes and hordes and hordes of stuff you don't want to mess with. Like, if you come here unprepared, you're, you're dead. That's, that's that. Wow, we must have been like way deep into this mountain. I don't know why they're spawn us in there but hey ho there you go okay so let's take a look at some of the mobs and landscape that is offered up here we can already recognize some of these mobs from the previous dimensions but what new ones added in as well like whatever the hell this guy is and then we have a different variation of a cave troll here to match this place looking awesome i really want to do some mob battles with some of these mobs i pretty much look at all mobs now like oh that would look cool in the mob battle um, alright, so this is just a waste landscape full of just the undead and deadly creatures. Just terrifying, terrifying stuff you do not want to come across. Like, made of nightmare fuel, just like how it should be in a classic D&D world. It's phenomenal, and I love the callback to some of these mobs um, from, the, from the board game, to be honest. They're, they're just great, and they're doing them justice as well, which is just a great, great thing. I do want to know what you guys are thinking about this mod, so do let me know in the comment section down below. One, if you've played this mod. Two, are you going to go download it after watching this and seeing all the amazing stuff that this mod has to offer? Like, who doesn't want a two-headed hill troll? Come on, you want to fight one of those bad boys? Guys, so yeah, do let me know about that down below. What are your thoughts and opinions thus far? All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next dimension is the Mechanus dimension. This one is a work in progress. Um, so when you spawn in here, don't expect too much. Uh, but yeah, this is the work in progress dimension. It's a mechanical dimension. It's made out of iron blocks and then a golden cog. So you make the golden cog with some gold and a normal iron cog. 
pretty simple stuff guys nothing too mad yet again find the cogs in structures around the world they make it fairly easy to get to the different dimensions which is something i love okay so just to give you a quick look at this dimension as i said there's nothing too much going on there's a few mechanical mobs that do spawn here but i haven't really seen any uh when exploring you pretty much just get all these floating cog islands which is pretty mad um, they look cool, but I'm, I'm excited to see what this world will have to offer eventually, but I don't know when that will be. I don't know when they'll update this mod again. They seem to be fairly regular with the updates. There was only an update, uh, pretty much just before recording this, to be honest. I noticed another update, uh, so I downloaded that and whatnot. But, yeah, I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. Now, there is one final dimension for us to look at today, guys, and that is the Abyss. This is the only dimension that cannot be reached through a portal. To get to the abyss, you just need to jump into the void. Monsters frequently spawn here and the only way to escape this dimension is death. So, you only go here to die, really. <laughs> That's the way to look at it. So, let's land up in this dimension and here we go. We are in the abyss and it is just full of hell. So, we've got some half dragon half human type creatures running around here we have a giant caterpillar we have a giant evil caterpillar like thing or purple worm whatever you want to call it i'm gonna call you evil caterpillar of doom okay what else do we have around here we've got some more uh bugbears we've got some werewolves or jackal wares and um, we've got some floating skulls flame skulls but this landscape is hell and as i said the only way to escape this place is death so I'm not 100% sure on the skin changer. Nice, nice. Um, the purpose of really coming down here, I mean, battle mobs, maybe gain stuff, but put stuff in your ender chest, and then when you die, you know, you're gonna obviously die and lose stuff, but there's gonna be bits and bobs you can gain from down here from mob drops and whatnot, and it's just pretty cool to explore, but don't forget an ender chest or something like that or anything really that you know don't come down here preparing you know come down here prepared to lose stuff that's what i'm trying to say uh it, and uh, there's difficult mobs i mean you gotta expect difficulty when traveling to hell but there you go guys that is an overview of this new mod it's amazing i feel but as I said, let me know what you think. I want to know, are you going to go download this mod after watching this? And there is a link to the mod uh, down below because typing it into Google is a nightmare to find. It doesn't really advertise this one um, because it obviously is such a small mod so far or as of the moment. Um, but yes, guys, thank you as always for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff to support the channel. Until next time, guys, see ya.